Hi friends, in this video we see the control system questions asked in TRB 2017 exam. The first question is the steady state error of type 1 system for unit steps signal is equal to. See here they have asked the steady state error for type 1 system. Right. So this type of question they may ask what we have to know is for type 1 system sorry from type 0 we will start for type 0 system only unit step has error right for type 1 unit ramp has error for type 2 unit parabola has error right so now the given question is type 1 right for type 1 system with the unit step input right so type 1 unit step for type 1 unit ramp only has error unit step is one step before so it has a error of 0 so option is D right so at the same time for type 1 unit step unit parabola has error of infinity right so the table is very very important so option D is a correct answer next one for type 1 second order system, what is the value of uh, peak overshoot? Peak, this is a general equation. So we know that peak overshoot is equal to M, MP. That is equal to e power minus zeta pi divided by 1 minus zeta square. So it is in option A. Here they have given epsilon. That is not an issue. Any term they can use. But general formula is MP is equal to e power minus zeta pi divided by MP is nothing but peak overshoot. Uh, divided by 1 minus root of uh, 1 minus zeta square. Next, the transfer functions are given below. Which one represents non minimum phase transfer function? So, we have to know one thing minimum phase and non minimum phase system. Minimum phase system is one where all poles and zeros are lying in left hand side of the plot, uh, S plane, right? Similarly, for non-minimum phase, if at least one zero, if one zero lies on the right hand side, then that is non-minimum phase system. Clear? So they ask what is non-minimum phase system? So non-minimum phase system is one where at least one zero lies in the right side of the S plane. Okay, here you see, here we are having 1, 0, where 0 is at minus 1. So, it is in left hand side. So, this is not an answer. Here we have zeros at minus 3, minus 4. This is also left hand side. So, no answer. Here 0 at minus 4. This is also left hand side. No answer. Here 0 at plus 1. So, here the 0 lies at the right side of the S plane. So, option D is the correct answer. Non minimum phase system is 1 where at least 1 0 should lie on the right side of the S plane. Next, the Nyquist plot of the first order system given by G of J omega is equal to 1 by 1 plus J omega T is. So, they have given first order system. What is the Nyquist plot they ask, right? So, we must know we are having on general formula for Nyquist plot, right? So, what is that? Right? So, Nyquist plot will start this uh, plot, you remember all this because they may ask any, any plot. So, this is starting of the plot, it should be like this, right? Where this is represents type 0, this is type 1, this is type 2, this is type 3 clear so if it is a system is type 0 it has to start from here if it is type 1 it has to start from here type 2 it has to start from here type 3 it has to start from here this is starting point right similarly for end point where it has to end this is for you have to remember this is first order system this is second order system this is third order system this is fourth order system right so our system is type 0 yes 
as per the problem first order system it is first order system what is the type type is 1 by 1 plus let us assume j omega is equal to s so 1 plus st so there is no pole at origin so s power 0 so s power 0 means type 0 system so it is type 0 first order so type is 0 order is 1 right so type has to start this is starting point so this has to start from this coordinate our pro problem so it has to be starting from this area and first order and it has to end here itself so which is matching for that it has to start from this side no this is not starting here no this is not starting here no only these two fellows are starting in this axis but where it has to end it has to end in the second quadrant itself here it is not ending so what is the answer option b is a correct answer right so you just remember this plot type 0 it has to start from here right type type 0 start from here type 1 should start from here right type 2 start from here type 3 start from here Similarly, what we have to know, right, here what is the first order system should end at here, second order system should end at here, third order system should end at here, fourth order system should end at here. Fine? Okay. So, that's all about this one. Next. Um, the system is represented by the block diagram shown in the figure. What is the nature of the response, right? So, they have given G of S and h of s right g of s is equal to 10 by s into s plus 1 h of s is equal to 1 because it is unity feedback right here h of s equal to this is h of s that is equal to 1 this is your g of s right so if you want to determine the response of the system you have to compare with the general equation what is my general equation c of s divided by r of s equal to g of s 1 plus g of s into h of s right g of s we know h of s we know so we find what is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s so g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s equal to h of s equal to 10 g of s is 10 by s into s plus 1 divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s 10 into s plus 1 h of s is 1 if you simplify what you get is 10 divided by s square plus s plus 10 right so this is the denominator of C of S divided by R of S. C of S divided by R of S equal to omega n square divided by S square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Now compare this equation with the right hand side. What is that? Instead of omega n square we are having this is omega n square the factor is 2 zeta omega n. Right? So, 2 zeta omega n is equal to 1, omega n squared is equal to 10, fine. So, let us see, omega n squared is equal to 10. This implies omega n is equal to root 10, right. 2 into zeta, zeta we don't know, omega n is root 10, that is equal to 1 this is equal this implies zeta is equal to 0.14 right so here zeta is equal to 0.14 and which lies between 0 and 1 so if zeta lies between 0 and 1 it is under damper system so what is my question what type of system it is it is under damper system so option a is the right answer Next, 
a pair of roots has been moved farther away from the imaginary axis then relative stability will be improved right so if you move away from the imaginary axis pair of roots what will happen the relative stability will improve right this is a well known direct question so that's all about this session if you are having any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify all your doubts thank you